<laughs> um, so I'm the guy with the dog. If you haven't seen him, he's back there. Is he taking a nap? <laughs> he's good. I shouldn't bother him. Um, so I would like to thank Lisa von Dresek and Dank Street College, who with the School Library Journal spearhead this award. Um, it is an especially resonant knowing that kids were very involved in the voting process. This program connects kids to books and gets them involved in a fun and unique process. <clears throat> I'm truly honored and touched that the kids chose Rocket because it really is a book for them. I want to thank the many talented and dedicated people at Random House. Uh, I think there are some here today. I have always been amazed by the support I've received from Random House. I feel very lucky to be part of their team. Actually, I consider myself part of the Random House family since we are, in fact, related by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank Schwartz and Wade Books, my personal favorite imprint of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Lee and Anne have both helped shape my books more than I can express. Without them, I would never be able to pry these stories and pictures loose from my very stubborn brain and get them on paper. That is very true. <laughs> Um, it was Ann Schwartz who years ago encouraged me to write a picture book. I will never forget her words the first time she asked me, Hey, when are you going to write a picture book? <laughs> <laughs> but before that, it was Lee who brought me into the world of children's books and got me started on a path that has truly changed my life. I am very lucky to have such unfettered access to her expertise and wisdom. Um, I want to thank our kids, Eleanor and Charlie. Charlie's here today who always inspire me and make me think. They give me ideas, sometimes intentionally and sometimes not. They give me their opinions, sometimes solicited, sometimes not, <laughs> but always honest. Um, of course, I must also thank Rocket, because I can honestly say that without him, I would not be here today. When we got this adorable little puppy four years ago, I knew that someday I would write a story about him. But it wasn't until I saw the finished illustration I did for a cover of an issue of Publishers Weekly, uh, it was a drawing of a little yellow bird reading to a dog, that I knew what the story would be. As incredible and smart as Rocket is, I tend to doubt that he, is, he has a full grasp of the role he has played in the creation of this book. But I am sure that he has said to himself many a time in the last two years, if I had a treat for every time I've heard my name mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to my mom, who was here today, up there. She always encouraged my love of art and my des desire to make things. And she understood and accepted that making art can be very messy. <clears throat> my mom recently moved homes, and while I was helping her go through things and pack boxes, I discovered an old tattered copy of a book that I wrote and illustrated when I was seven years old. It was called The Lion and the Mouse. It is an epic, some may say wordy, <laughs> tale of an orphaned lion who befriends a mouse. Lately, I've started to bring that book to school with me, to school visits, and when I tell the kids the title, their hands shoot up, and they excitedly tell me that they know that story. <laughs> and they're a little disappointed to find out that it's not the same one. <laughs> But I, re I vividly remember writing the story when I was seven years old and drawing the pictures to go along with it. I remember making the cover and stapling it all together, and I remember giving it to my parents, and I remember how much they loved it. And I remember how proud I was of that book. It was a, it was a very, you know, very incredible uh, sort of event in my life. I did not make another book until over 30 years later, though, but when I did, and when I do create a picture book, I am filled with the same strong feelings. There is nothing like a book. There's nothing like a book to create, there's nothing like a book to hold, there's nothing like a book to read or hear, as we all know. <clears throat> Personally, I find writing very difficult. As a writer, I feel like I'm always working, trying to think of an idea for a story, trying to make sense of some tricky dialogue, figuring out how a little yellow bird might entice a dog into her classroom. There's always something. So w when I'm painting the stoop, I'm working. When I'm walking the dog, I'm working. This is what I tell my wife when she comes home. <laughs> <laughs> and often it feels like the physical evidence of the sum total of a day's work is the smallest accomplishment, like moving a comma, for instance. 
It is especially gratifying, therefore, to win an award such as this. I have a great job. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.